With .NET Core available out of the box, Sitefinity lets you deploy and work on the presentation in a standalone application detached from the Sitefinity backend. A robust set of REST services let you consume data from Sitefinity, and in this video, we'll look at that in more detail. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to create a Sitefinity widget that consumes data from Sitefinity. For the task at hand, we're using an already set up project with .NET Core that's connected to Sitefinity. So let's get started. In a previous video, we showed you how to connect a .NET Core application to Sitefinity. A .NET Core application consumes data from Sitefinity via OData web services, and the web service that we're going to use in this demo is specified in this configuration here. We already have a view component named Sitefinity Data View Component. Opening the widget, we can see two dependencies injected in the view component. An HTTP client factory for making requests to Sitefinity, and this custom service here. We've named it Request Context. This service is important because it contains data about the current culture and the current site for the page we're working with. In the invoke async method, we can see that we're creating an HTTP client with a special name. Once we have this client, all the requests being made to Sitefinity will be relative. What it does is automatically append the value specified in the configuration to all the web requests, namely the Sitefinity URL and the OData web service URL. There's no need to type this every time we want to make web requests to Sitefinity. And here, we're receiving the new site. We are, in this example, retrieving all the news items for the current site and the current culture. As you can see, we're retrieving a JSON file and serializing the items as a news view model. One thing to note here is that we're also expanding the related image so it can display as well. The news view model is basically something that we're passing to the view. It has a title and a thumbnail, which only has a URL. If we go to our view, we can see that we have an H1 stating that this is a news widget, and we have a for each iterating over the news items and displaying the related image. Let's see what this looks like. We launch the application, add a new widget. We can instantly see our widget here. Once we add it, we instantly see our news items listed here. I can go on and preview. The news items are showing. I can quickly create a news item, select an image, and once I go to the front end, we can see the news item we just added. 